Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alfredina, if you're new here. Today we are going to talk about your mommy checklist. This checklist is for you to make sure that you are being the best mom that you can by taking care of you. When our babies, this list was born when our first was born. My husband and I had a list of things for when he cried because, you know, kids cry and, you know, on the best of days, you are preemptive and you're like, oh, he needs to eat in 30 minutes so you're ready for whenever. But on the busy days, sometimes he's crying and you're like, okay, so we will go down a checklist. When was the last time that he ate? Um, when has he, sleep? he slept? Does he need to sleep? Does he need to eat? Is he dirty? Does he need um, to be burped? We had a list of his basic needs to make sure that those were met and when all else fell failed my husband would just like take off all his clothes and you know make sure that there was nothing hurting him and sometimes it was that now that he speaks we know that he has very sensitive skin and that sometimes his clothes was itching him or something so that always worked when everything else failed and he was fed he was burped and he was clean and he had slept that's usually what would do the trick just stripping him down and having him on his diaper to like just be himself now what does that have to do with you well mama you have needs you have a lot of needs that everybody else has and sometimes when you're taking care of your kiddos you feel like a bad person if you take care of that first it's kind of like a thing that we would hide out in the pantry and just eat or eat whatever our kids left on the plate after breakfast or lunch or that we just don't eat or don't sleep don't do anything because there's so much to be done and then when you're running on fumes when you're running on empty you are moody you are um snapping at your children and you're not the kind of mother that you want it to be and when that happens, usually we, well, I know that I start feeling guilty and I start saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible and, you know, my poor kids deserve better and I don't want to keep yelling and I don't want this and that. And, and I've learned throughout the years to give myself that checklist to say, wait a minute, I'm really getting triggered by my kids' behavior right now and I'm not controlling my feelings. When was the last time I ate? Do I need water? Did I sleep well? Have I been sleeping enough? Um, do I need to do something to move my body and exercise? I'm one person that if I don't do something to, to get the blood flowing, I'm going to get moody. I'm going to go through ups and downs because it's just some of the struggles that I go through. So if it's been, if it's a season of a lot of stress and you know, there's a child is sick or um, there's some deadlines that I have to meet and there's things going on in my life one of the first things that go is my rituals that help me take care of me so going to bed at a decent hour waking up after being fully rested spending some time quiet time with God in the morning first thing working out eating nutritious foods and that's so important because your body needs the nutrients to fuel you for the whole day things that are calming and not just running on caffeine and sugar which you know it's it's easy to get it trapped in that cycle you didn't sleep the night before so you grab your cup of coffee i drink more creamier than coffee with a lot of sugar so i am being fueled on that and that gets me racy and angsty all day so i'm more irritable throughout the day i crash and then i need another cup and then at night i can't really sleep as well as i could if i didn't have all that caffeine and so the next day i need it again and it's just a crazy loop that i'm that i put myself in and the ones paying for it are my kids because i am a shadow of what i can be with them i don't have as much patience i don't you know treat them or me as well as i want to and so when i feel like i'm losing it when i feel like i'm having a bad day i'm having a hard time i'm just having one of those days i go through my checklist what was the last thing i ate was that nutritious was that feeding me do I need to work out? Do I need to just pack everybody and go to a park to get some fresh air? 
um, do I need to get to bed early no matter what? Forget dishes, forget the house, forget everything. I'm just going to get to bed early because the next day being rested will help me be more productive. And when all else fails, get in the tub and just enjoy a nice calming bath. Of course, once I put the kids to sleep so it could actually be peaceful and calming. The point is that those are the things that help me. A lot of times when we think of self-care, we talk about going to get manis and petties. And by God, if that helps you and that feels you, do that. But for me, I find that self-care looks more like my husband taking the kids to the park so I could get my closet in order or fix my bedroom if it's been, you know, sometimes we clean up everywhere and everything ends up in our, our room. So at night, I'm stressed because everything is just a mess and taking that time to fix my room. It looks like going and getting some really good nutritious food when I haven't had time to cook a full, full meal and just cooking it because I felt like just sitting down for all the things that I want to eat, you know, healthy things. Take the time to make that really gourmet salad and cook something that I really enjoy and my family enjoys and just enjoying it. And it doesn't matter if we had to eat some fruit as a snack or whatever before so that we could make it to and eating dinner a little later and the kids going to sleep a little later so we can enjoy that. And that nourishes me. Self-care for me looks like working out. Self-care for me looks like sleeping in or sleeping going to sleep super early self-care for me looks like cleaning my kitchen without somebody coming and you know fill, refill my cup of water or whatever like self-care looks different depending on who you are so i challenge you from today on to start looking what are those things that make you feel great about yourself that give you peace and make you a good version of you and then make you the mama that you want to be. Basics are sleep, food, drink, working out. If you're moving your body in a way that feels good to you, if you're eating nutritious foods, if you're sleeping well, and if you're staying hydrated, that right there, make that part of your list because that's the part of anybody who's a human. We all need those things. And once those things get checked out, then add to them the things that are particular to you. It's a napping. Do you need to implement more naps during the day? Do you need to walk walk outside? Do you need to do some meditation? Do you need to read? What is it that makes you feel good? Add those to your list. And the next time that you're having a bad day, go down that list and start checking them off. Take care of you. And that will give you all the energy you need and the reserves to then take care of all of those that you love. Take care of yourself and really love yourself. Because not only will that make you a good mom today, that is the blueprint of how your children will take care of themselves when they are grown. You don't want them to be martyrs, so don't model that for them. We, I, this is coming from a place of love because I really want you to love yourself and teach your kids how to love themselves and you. And because I want you to be happy and make those good days last and shorten the length of those bad days. Take care of you. <laughs>